Stan Gibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV. Whiskey One Good Vibrations. I got a question recently from a viewer that uh, interests me quite a lot, and I would like to have your input uh, based on your experience with two different types of antenna support poles. One is the fiberglass type, which obviously does not conduct DC or RF and can be used without worrying about uh, anything except making sure that it stays up. You want to probably want to guy it with nylon rope if it's of any significant height for something like an inverted V antenna for 20 or 40 meters, say, or for the end supports of a dipole antenna. Uh, you don't want to get too low in frequency or the antenna will be too low to the ground because you, you're not going to have a 75 foot fiberglass support pole. I think 25 or 30 feet is about the maximum commonly used. The other type though is a carbon fiber type of pole. Now, I'm not talking about carbon of the sort that you would find in the center of a electrochemical cell or battery, but carbon fiber, which presumably comprises particles separated by a binding material that does not conduct. So although the carbon to some extent would conduct, it's broken into such tiny particles that are separated by each other, presumably by non-conductive material, that the device would, in effect, be an electrical insulator at DC. But what about RF? Would it still act exactly the same as, say, a plastic or fiberglass pole? Do you have experience with this type of pole? this type of support, carbon fiber, and if so, what has been that experience? Does it work well? Do you like it? Or is it a no-go? Because I honestly don't know, and I'd like to know, and I'm sure my viewer would also like to know. Stan Gibalisco, W1GV, signing off saying 73, and so long, which, regardless of the type of antenna support pole used, invariably translates in my native fist to da-da-da-da-da-da.